Hey everybody, it's Ruthie. Welcome back to Crazy's Chaotic Crafts. We're going to do another layout today. The one we're working with today is triangles. And this is not a lot I found a lot of sketches for. I didn't see a lot of layouts for. The one I'm using today I didn't find a sketch for, so I'm just kind of winging it a little bit. But I did pull a couple of the triangle ones to show you what I'm talking about. So here you have the triangle here, and it um, can be so many different options if you if you look at this at this layout. I mean, if you're thinking about sports or just really anything, and this has two papers here, but it could uh, two pictures here, but it could really be even just one big picture if you have say a five by seven or even a bigger one. Instead of doing one picture there, you could have one here. You could also, you know, just put a big picture or three or four small ones along here. So, you know, when you're looking at a sketch, just look at it in general, like just how you're going to put the papers. And, you know, it can give you an idea of where you're going to put the embellishments, but that will always come later on when you figure out paper, you figure out what, how you're gonna lay the paper out and then just start playing with it. The other one I found was using smaller triangles. So you have these triangles long here and almost lined up like an arrow. I love this because it really brings the focus right here to the picture. So if you have even a, even if you have a bigger picture or a smaller picture, you know, you can still use the triangles and put them in there and you can make these different colors, different patterns and line them all up there. It could be really super cute. And I have one more. This one is, I know it's kind of a, a long triangle, but again, it brings your eye right to the point of where that picture, where you want that picture at. And again, it can be smaller pictures. You can put like four you know, three by three pictures here or just one bigger picture. Let me grab, let me grab some paper here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So you can put, instead of two, just put one picture there. Or even if you wanted to do one big one, let me, let me grab a bigger one. I am going to, uh, like I mentioned before, I'm going to do some uh, five by seven pictures. So if you made these little triangles smaller and put them there, you can, you know, that's a little bit too big of a picture, but there we go. That's a little better. And then just make the triangles a little bit smaller. And then it would just, everything will just bring your eye back to that picture. So let me show you what I'm, what I'm working on today. I have been talking about doing a roller derby picture of my granddaughter. And this one has been a tough layout for me to do, which is why I decided that I was just going to go out and just do triangles because there were so many embellishments, so many different things that I wanted to put on this page to make it what I think of her. When I think of her and her roller derby, I wanted her to have memories and things that, you know, would uh, bring her right back to when she played roller derby. So I chose this paper because in, to me, the movement in it just reminds me of the patterns when they're going around that track. They go around, uh, it's a wood floor that they usually do, and they go around. And so this reminds me of the skating in and out, trying to keep the, someone from scoring. So I, then I decided I wanted to see which paper I wanted to put the backing on. I did cut this paper down to 11 and a half by 11 and a half. And I thought at first a purple one would be good, but it just really, the back, the purple gets lost. So I decided that's not what I wanted to use. And then I saw the white. And to me, my eye is going to the white. And even the white in here, uh, it just, to me, it just wasn't the, the uh, mood and feel that I was looking for. So I decided that I would try the black. And to me, the black, is what set it off. I mean, it to me, it makes all the colors pop and the tracks and the movements and that kind of thing, which is what I was looking at. So that being said, let's get started. My first 
thing I did was some of my pictures are not always that good. It's not, you know, the camera's not that good, you know, whatever. But I still do my scrapbooking with those pictures anyway, because I would rather have that memory than a perfect picture. Because if I wait for a perfect picture, then it won't work. But what I can do though, is if the, if the, uh, if her, if she has, or her parents have a better picture of this, they can just cut a picture and, and paste it right on top of there. But the layout is done. So don't let a bad picture stop you from doing it. So the other thing I did is I cut some more things out in the diamond shape, triangles, whatever you want to call them. So this is a couple of pictures of her that I added. And then her her name when she was uh, roller derby was Midnight Rose. And that's one of her uh, quotes that she liked. If you can't, if you can't um, hit some, if you can't score, block someone who can. And then I just cut a couple of more things out here. So let me show you how, how I planned on laying this out. You could do a lot of different ways when you're using these, these uh, diamond shapes here. And you don't, I did, this is mainly print and cut that I did because to me it's an easy way to do a layout and it's an easy way to get things done. But you can use it just like a band across. But just if this, these, I have these as embellishments in her name, but this doesn't have to be, these could be small pictures that you put in here. I went to Canvas, can, yeah, Canvas, and I, when I did some of these pictures, and you just find the shape that you want, and you just pull it over there. And then, then I put, had the frame that I put around it in uh, Cricut Design Space. So what I thought I would do is the design that I came up with that I liked is I lined up these things along the side, three of them along the side here. And then I put the quotes here and then I lined her pictures up. Let me see, how did I have that now? Oh, there we go, like this, I think. Now see, I go back to doing this and I'm like, Ruthie Mae, what did you do? You know, sometimes the brain just tries to play tricks with you. <laughs> and mine does like playing tricks with me. Now see, there's just something to me that's just not fitting. I have it on my camera. Let me just see how I had it laid out. Because when I when I'm working with when I'm when I'm working with this, it's um Let's see, what did I do different? When I'm doing this, it's one of those one of those things that I find a way and I take pictures and then I go back a, a, an hour or maybe even the next day and say, okay, what is it that I liked? What it is that I didn't like about this? There we go. That's what I came up with. That looks cute. So that is my basic of what I'm going to, how I'm going to lay this out. And I am going to go ahead and get my temporary adhesive and I'm going to put it back on the back down just so I can keep them from moving. Just so that, you know, because it moves around too much and you're like, okay, what did I'm doing? And I'm going to start over here because the diamonds, I want to make sure that they're lined up the way, you know, where they're, where they're straight and not just not, um, going in a weird shape. And I do have a long ruler and a T-square that if I felt that it, I was having too much trouble that I could always, you know, get that out and line it up. There, we go. there we go. I do want it lined up, but not necessarily have to touch each other because I want that pattern to show through. So let me just put these down. And like I said, these, God, these could be pictures, these could be embellishments, but I am going to do one more step with this when I, when I get done. Here, I'll show you. I'm going to move this over just a little bit. Okay, so that's my general layout. And it's almost like a band. You see the, the band here, but it all just kind of centers in to the same thing. But I did want more on here. So let me show you what I'm going to do. I did cut out a pair of roller skates 
that I'm going to put up in the corner. And then I did cut out some extra pieces up here. And what my plan is, is to put backing on this, this bone tape, and just make it pop up a little bit. So that it giving it just a little bit more of a um, of a featured, a little bit more of a, you know, make it pop out a little bit better. So you see that's and it doesn't add any more weight to that then. And I do have other ones that I did. Like I have this one here and I cut it out and I'm going to do the same thing with the foam. And if I can get the backing off of there. There we go. Let's see. I also printed out some of these um, some of the sayings and her name again because I, I want like I said I want these some of these to just pop out and make it look you know almost like a 3D thing. I wondered if I should do her picture the same way, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm just going to do the embellishments to you know make them give it a little bit more interest than than they actually have make them not look so flat. So that looks that looks better. I do have this one. I don't have one. I printed that in white. So I don't have one of that, but I don't think it looks I don't think it necessarily has to have it. So I have a few more little embellishments that I'm going to make a little cluster base, I think, over here in the corner. I cut this out. It's uh, one of the tires, like the roller blade tires. So I'm going to use that kind of as my base, you know, to po post everything on top of. I have a smaller little skull thing I think I'm going to put up here. But it also would be cute for something there too. And then I have a, a pair of skates. You know, just a few little things I think I'm going to just do a little cluster down here. Now I did have a couple of like these little, these little girls skating. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to put them on here or not. I'm kind of leaning toward not putting them on, but yeah, I don't think I'm going to, but you know, that's, I was going to use a star background, almost like she's uh, skating in the stars almost, but then I decided that's not something that I liked. So that's going to be my basic layout. Now up at the top here with this with this guy here, I thought what I would do is to take a Brad. And I would find one here. I'm sorry I didn't have one of these laid out. But I have some of these and then they got the little bugs on it. You know how I put bugs on all my pages. So. Oh, there's a butterfly. Butterflies are her favorite. So what I think I'm going to do, and I'll do this after after when I get ready to glue everything down, I may use that as almost like a, a hanger, like they're hanging on a a hanging on something. But I'll have to find the perfect one that I want to use. I also have some pink ones too. And a purple one. So I may use, you know, put like a purple one on there or a pink one. Matter of fact, I think that that may look better. Like put this pink one on here somehow. But I'll play around with that and you can see it on, on the finished on the finished one. So my journaling, I'll do like before. I'm just going to put at least I had one here. What did I? Boy, you th would think I'm not a very organized person, but I really kind of am. But anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a pocket and a little tab. And I'm just going to put that down in there. But I'll pick a paper that would look better with this. Say like this one. And this will be my journaling. And I'm just going to put a little pocket there. And I'll glue it down everywhere but like here. And I'll glue around here. And I'll put a little uh, string or something on that. Just to you know get my journaling done. And then the other thing that you could do. Now I'm not going to do it because I don't have one that's going to show up well. Is to separate these things here. You could put... Uh, some string, some tape, some yarn, some washi tape or something along between here. Again, that's just going to add just a little bit more of a focal point to it and add a little bit more color, you know, if you wanted to add a little bit more to it. I'm not going to do that because I didn't really, I think the paper's busy enough. 
So that's going to be my basic layout. And I'm going to finish adhering all this down. I will share this in the end so you can see what everything looks like. That glare is not too bad on there. But just think about using some different shapes. Do it some different, you know, look at in your in your room. Because this could very easily be circles that you just kind of circled on top of here. And we'll be doing one later on. And you have a picture and you just have a border with circles. It could be square, you know, squares of pictures instead. And just kind of turn them around and just kind of lay them out and put some embellishments or something in between. I am so sorry, guys. I did not mute my phone. And I can go all day. Nobody texts me until I start recording. But you could easily put, you know, things in between if you wanted some more, you know, pizzazz. I'm not going to. I wanted this to be a little bit more simple uh, page. Her and her parents both are more of, you know, not they don't like things overdone. They like things a little bit more minimalist. So that's, you know, kind of my plan on, on doing this. So I hope this video helps, guys. I will have another one with another type of layout uh, coming up soon. If you have any questions, be sure you leave them down in the comment. And... I appreciate all the new subscribers that I've recently got, and I'm going to be given a giveaway. When I get to 250 subscribers, I'm going to give a $25 gift card to somebody. So everybody just leave where you think you might like the, the gift card from, and when you, you know, kind of maybe where you're from and just uh, if you have any questions, if you're new to this channel, I would appreciate you subscribing. Everybody, please hit that like button, and I will talk to you guys soon with a new layout. Bye, everybody.